matchless G80 ignition timing. Um, I pulled off the timing gear cover and brought out this cog with it, which is now on a on a cam, so I can't get it out. So I pulled this out and I lost my timing marks. So I've turned to page 120 of the manual and you need a real bright light and bifocals. I've got both fortunately. If you, if you look at this, you'll see there is a little tiny mark there. See it? Just on certain angles you can see it. I'll move the light. There you go. So somebody's put two notches in there, but I don't think they're the one. I'm going with this one here. Um, so the manual says that you line that notch up with the centre of the shaft and put the inlet uh, gear so it's in line. So that dot is in line with that dot between the two shafts. You then take your trusty 18mm, you wind it on until the same dot, you see the dot now can't you, better, yep, take the same dot, you got that dot because it takes some seeing that does, that one there, that one, that dot there, you got it, there. They didn't have tip packs in the 50s. So you take that and you point it at the shaft. Out. The shaft, the, uh, the shaft. For the, where's that dock on? There it is. The shaft for the exhaust timing gear. And you can see there that that's pointing to the one dot there. So dot to dot to shaft. So that one first, that one first, that one second. Dots lined up. That's what I've done anyway. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, it wasn't right, but the bike hasn't been run for a long time. So that's going to be fun.